Now, friends, in 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, verse 13, he says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them who are sleeping, that ye sorrow not, even as the rest which have no hope. This passage has been called one of the most important prophetic passages of Scripture. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. This is the gospel. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in Him, again speaking of death. According to the Lord's Word, verse 15, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord Himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, verse 17, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, verse 18, encourage one another with these words. Wow. The word caught up here is a very interesting word. The Greek word is harpazo. It can mean grasp hastily. It can mean to snatch up. It can mean to lift. It can mean to transport. And it can mean to rapture. But pastor, with all due respect, uh, the doctrine of a pre-tribulation rapture is not a matter of salvation. That's correct. However, and there is a however, while it may not be a matter of salvation, it is most certainly a matter of sanctification. And I'll explain why and how I get there. The impact that this truth, this sound doctrine of a pre-tribulation rapture can impact our lives in a profound way. Listen to what the Apostle John wrote in his first epistle, the third chapter, verses 2 and 3. He says, Dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known, but we know that when Christ appears, we shall be like Him, for we shall see Him as He is. And then he says this, All who have this hope in Him purify themselves, just as He is pure. In other words, those who have this hope live with the anticipation, even the expectation of the imminence of the Lord's return at any time. What do they do? Those who have this hope in His appearing, what do they do? Oh, they purify themselves. They get their affairs in order. They get ready and they are ready because He can come at any time. But the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, teaching us that 
denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ, 